Hi, my name is Dr. Toy Durham, and I am the newly appointed Director of Undergraduate Curriculum and Accreditation. Um, I've been here at Houston Baptist University for a year now. Uh, previously, I was adjunct and uh, took on a full-time role here in August of 2021. Um, I have three children. Uh, one has already graduated from college, and then I have a, a daughter going to attend LSU in August. And then I have a 15-year-old that um, we look forward to graduation pretty soon from high school. <laughs> um, I am married to a retired um, Harris County Sheriff Deputy, um, and uh, we have a um, 100-pound dog, uh, Briscoe, and he is a golden retriever. Um, I have been in the nursing field for over 28 years now and worked in various arenas in, of nursing, which is forensic nursing, um, public health, um, foreign travel nursing, um, medical surgical nursing, but I've found a passion for mental health nursing and I've specialized in mental health nursing for the last 15 years of my career. Um, so here at Houston Baptist University, I'm the lead professor of the mental health nursing uh, curriculum and I also teach community health nursing as well. Um, Toy, it's just amazing uh, all the things you've done. Welcome. Thank you. We are really honored. You are the Director of Undergraduate Curriculum and Accreditation in the School of Nursing and Allied Health. That is correct. And that, that's a tremendous position. Yes, it is. And we have in our future vision a STEM building, a whole new building. And one of the aspects of STEM obviously is science, which brings right. in this tremendous nursing program. Um, I watched a, a hospice nurse the other day um, taking care of my wife's mother as yes. she was getting ready to leave this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And wow, have I been reminded in recent days how important nurses are. Absolutely. You know so much about it. Tell us about your career. Yes, well, I actually previously had, have been a hospice nurse, and that probably is one of the most rewarding um, areas of nursing, um, secondary to academia. Mm -hmm. And so one of my goals of being the new director of undergraduate services is to make sure nurses have a core foundation of Christianity and the love of God um, and be able to utilize that in their practice um, and uh, have the nurses work at their optimal levels of care um, for patients in different areas of nursing. Um, you have to have just an, a, a basic, a foundation formula of, of love, care, and the desire to help people. Um, in all that you do in nursing, in any area that you work in, that's foundational. And so it's my hope that I grow the nurses of Houston Baptist University into, you know, great nurses to serve. Toy, I know you will. I don't have a doubt about it. And I, I just love hearing about your career. I mean, wow, the affinity you have with mental health and nursing. Yes. That, that's strategic. Absolutely. Tell me Absolutely. about that. Especially now, um, in more recent years, um, I think we're starting to accept mental health um, as a community. There's still a lot of work to be done, right. and um, I am part of that charge. And so um, I uh, collaborate uh, quite a bit with Dr. Bell, who is um, uh, the, direct, uh, the department chair of nursing, and she too is a mental health uh, uh, specialist. And so we, um, our hope is to bring a lot of our specialty to the campus um, and engage students more um, so that it's more of an open discussion so that we could better help um, our students. So. You know, and I love uh, what you said about God and the Christian faith. Um, it's interesting to me that when a 9-11 happens or a a city like Bucha in the Ukraine happens. Nobody censors prayer and God. Yeah. I mean, CNN, all the, they'll let you say whatever you want about God. And then yet when we get a normal life and normal professional vocation, we try to exclude mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God Almighty mm -hmm. that nearly 90% of Americans believe in. Right. And we have these, these activist groups that if they had their way, we'd delete all that. Thank right. God HBU isn't in that school of thought. Why is that so important to you and how does that change a nurse? The foundation of, I think, being able to help anyone is having, uh, having faith and being able to see God walk in your life and move in your life as a nurse to help other people. Um, and we often help other people realize that there is a greater person than ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and if we accept and understand Christ, then we know that and we can help them better on their journey. Um, 
to be able to openly discuss um, the love of God um, and Christianity and how he is so important in our everyday lives, it's, it's a fascinating opportunity. And I see in my students, their, their lights just, uh, you know, their, their eyes just um, brighten. When we discuss, when we, ha when we compare and discuss Christianity with the medical field and medical science and being able to help patients. Um, I think now more so than ever, um, being able to talk about God and Christianity in the hospitals is more and more welcoming. Um, and we're able to approach it in different ways without screaming, Sure. Um, but we're able to approach our patients in different ways and getting them to, to get, be better listeners to understand where we can help them and guide them with our faith. Um, that is so wonderful. Now, uh, we have a dynamic nursing program at Houston Baptist University. Dr. Durham, I want you to look in that camera and tell prospective nursing students why they should choose HBU as their nursing school. Houston Baptist University has always been a pillar in the commu community, especially the nursing program. Um, we have excellent professors um, in the School of Nursing. We have an ex um, excellent curriculum um, layout that we've made some recent changes to that will uh, benefit you coming into our nursing program. Um, and of course, as I said, foundationally, we, we um, have the faith and trust in God, um, and we use that to serve throughout our nursing program and uh, throughout the curriculum. Um, Houston Baptist University uh, um, has been, uh, again, a pillar in the community. And my goal is to um, even elevate it much more than that with you as a, a new uh, student in our program. That is so good. You know, I, I was just sitting here reading about your mother and she must have been an amazing woman. 25 years at UT School of Nursing, retired from Prairie View School of Nursing. She inspired you, didn't she? Absolutely, yeah. I, I must say that... Um, That's okay. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've learned in recent days, sometimes we need a tear or two. Yeah. She certainly is probably the reason I'm here. Um, I never thought and expected uh, that I would be a nurse. Um, but um, just her love for God and her, her love for me uh, just trans, you know, transpires through everything that I do. Um, and, uh, excuse me. <laughs> That's all right, boy. Um, I'll even get them to get yeah. you a Kleenex <laughs> if we have to. Um, yes, so she, um, I say that if I could just be half of the nurse in person she is, then I'm doing okay. And um, I'm trying to get there. <laughs> Well, we could just have a little crying session together because my <laughs> wife just lost her mom and I've been holding her at night and just telling her it's going to be okay. When you have great parents, though, it really does make a difference, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Uh, you know, yeah. I had a great dad and a great mom and wow, when I get in these groups where they talk about how rotten your parents were, I feel like saying I, I can't relate. Right, you, you know, right. And I, I, I empathize for those who can. I want to just uh, remind everyone that the future of the STEM building proposed on the HBU campus is desperately needed in the city. Oh. We've outgrown our facility. And if all the people who believe in God and know that a nurse can make the difference sacrificially give, that building can go up. Just like our Independence Hall replica buildings going up right now. Uh, you are strategic to that plan. Dr. Yes. Toy Durham, named Director of Undergraduate Curriculum and Accreditation in the School of Nursing and Allied Health. You can contact Dr. Durham at T. Durham, D U R H A M, at hbu.edu, or go to visit hbu.edu, School of Nursing and Allied Health. Just before you leave, I want to just ask you, you know, you are in nursing and foreign travel. Yes. Uh, I should have had your name and number before I went to Turkey. <laughs> yes, you should and have. And ate that horrible <laughs> chicken and that somebody inappropriately 
put us in a restaurant. Yes. So you, that's an interesting cachet you have. Yes, it was very interesting. Um, you get to meet a lot of people. Um, and that role as a nurse, there, there's so many areas of nursing that you can go into. Foreign travel basically deals with people going to other countries and yeah. you are preparing them uh, for <laughs> disease prevention, basically, <laughs> and keeping them safe to get them back to us <laughs> without disease. And so that was very interesting, yeah. Well, you are a great, great appointment here at HBU. We're very proud of you, proud of what you represent, your family, that 100-pound dog of yours. Are you going to be an empty nester? I am. I oh, am. Oh, man, you're going <laughs> to, let me tell you, you're going to have the greatest party in the world. You know, we loved raising our kids, and when the last one left, we threw a party. It's bittersweet. bittersweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll enjoy the spontaneity in a bunch of different ways. Uh, HVU.edu slash School of Nursing and Allied Health. You can learn more about HVU at hvu.edu slash admissions 281-649-3211. Our graduate school, so important, hvu.edu slash grad 281-649-3269. And we now have students in nearly 50 states. That's HVU online. So it doesn't matter if you live in Houston or not. You can enroll in HBU online.com 855-428-1960. Tori, thanks so much. I feel like I've met a new friend. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, Likewise. We'll, we'll look forward to watch you in the days ahead. Thank you so much.